What's happening, YouTube? Back in the day, gamer here. Thank you for joining me today on this very special occasion. Because today, February 8th, 2018, is none other than back in the day, gamer's 40th birthday. That's right, folks. I've hit the big 4-0. I'm an old man now. So, as a present to myself for my big 40th birthday, I went on a little quest. The week before my actual birthday, which is today, I set myself on a quest to pick up 40 Nintendo games. So for the past week, I went to a different game store every day and picked up a total of 40 games in honor of my 40th birthday. So we're going to jump into those right here. But before we do that, I also picked up this cool little thing. It's a Rampage figure, I guess in honor of the new movie coming out. They're re-releasing some some toys and first check out this uh the box. It's awesome. You got the guys here. I don't know, I've got a little focus problem. But the coolest thing about this aside from the horrible annoying noise it makes. Oh, is something that I've been waiting nearly my whole life to have. You guys remember back in the day, Stretch Armstrong? <laughs> I always wanted a Stretch Armstrong, and I never got one. I never even got to play with one. This thing's like magic. How does it do that? Anyhow, this is really no good to me anymore because without being in the box, it's not going to stand up. <laughs> but that's pretty awesome. So, we'll set Lizzie back there for now. In my game hunt, I also came up with this, which I am a super fan of. It's a Pac-Man glass from 1982. Got some old school Pac-Man ghost figures on there. Got a little game board on the back. This is what back in the day gamer drinks his martinis out of from now on. Mmm. And you may be saying to yourself, well, is, is he drinking a martini in the middle of the day? That's right, I am. I'm 40 years old, I'll do whatever I want. You're not going to tell me what to do. <laughs> so, let's get into this big-ass pile of 40 Nintendo games. The first day I went out, I picked up only three, which was not a good start. We had Thunderbirds. Not an awesome game, but I don't see it that much except for this week when I saw it nearly everywhere. And I've got a Quattro Adventure game. It's the one with Super Robin Hood on it. I wanted that game, I thought it looked cool. It's not that cool, but now I have it. That day I picked up one Tengen game, Pac-Mania. So that's one more to complete my Tengenitis set. I think that makes number 11. Then the next day, I did hit a big score. This big pile right here. Now, unfortunately, most of these games are just filler, but it is what it is. We got Airwolf, Tecmo Basketball, Sesame Street, one, two, three. Sesame Street, another one, who cares? Caveman Games, came with the manual. I don't usually ever find games with manuals, nor do I care to, but this week, once again, was odd. Just picked up a lot of manuals. Spot, 7-Up game, Star Soldier, Black Box Soccer, one more to complete my original Black Box collection, Snake Rattle and Roll, Super Spike Volleyball, idiot, that was a double. Stealth, also a double I picked up the very day before that. And The Hunt for Red October, that classic that you see everywhere, used to be 99 cents. I got it for $3.99, and then I kept seeing it for $7. The game's trash. So then the next day, like I said, I hit the stealth again, got Destination Earth Star, and Explode Short Order. I have been hunting for a power pad. Almost picked one up yesterday. I, I never see them 
either very often, but I saw the two stores that I went to, they both had one, and the one guy had one in a box, but the box was hit, so I passed. Then, uh, the other day, I only picked up one, Dragon Power, so my, my hopes were not up too high, because, you know, I needed to pick up an average of, like, five a day to reach the goal of 40. Fortunately, I had some ordered games coming in the mail, and this little gem here, Castlevania The Holy Relics. It's a homebrew. So before we go any farther, I said, I believe I decided I was going to do it last year in 2017, that I am going for a complete NES collection. Now, I may never have stadium events, and I may never have the uh, Nintendo World Champion card, especially gold one. You know, it is what it is. But other than those two, I'm determined to piss away all the money and time it takes to get a whole collection. I'm not in a hurry because I love picking up games and playing new games. And if I have them all, I don't know what I'm going to do after that because Nintendo is my favorite. So I guess I'll just move on to the Master System. But I'm sure it's going to take a long time and I am very cool with that. Hopefully in the time it takes to get there, the prices drop. Currently, before these 40, I'm at 338, and that includes a few multi-carts, unlicensed games, reproductions, and homebrews, but maybe 20 tops. Another day I hit the stores, I picked up four. World Cup Soccer, Tecmo World R Wrestling, Desert Commander, and uh, this baseball game. I forget what the name of it even is. It doesn't matter. It's probably terrible. It's another super common game. It was $1.99. So, now yesterday, I had to hit two stores because there was a snowstorm and I decided blah, blah, blah. So, the first store that I hit yesterday only picked up four. Wasn't looking that promising, but Racket Attack, Filler. Terminator 2, Chris, what the hell, Top Player Tennis, and Road Blasters. I'm looking forward to playing the Tecmo World Wrestling a lot, so I always thought I had that, but it was a different crappy wrestling game that I had, and that one is supposed to be much better. So the final store that I hit yesterday, which I had to drive 45 minutes to get to, First thing, picked up two more Tangent games, which brings me to a total of 13. Got Clax, which is crap, and Vindicators. At least I think Clax is crap. I don't want to shoot it down if it's not, but from what I've seen and heard, it is. Ah, that's a good noon martini right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's some good games in this one. For instance, Eliminator Boat Duel. I've been looking for that guy for a long time. Legacy of the Wizard, not great. Thundercade, sorry about the glare. It's the middle of the day. I don't usually film in the middle of the day, like I don't usually drink in the middle of the day either. But it's my 40th birthday, and I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. So I'm gonna drink martinis and make YouTube videos all day. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff going on. It's probably going to progress badly due to the alcohol. Robo Warrior, Volleyball, another off the black box list, Dash Galaxy in Alien Asylum, and Wrecking Crew. Been wanting to have Wrecking Crew for a long time as well. I'm going to pause the camera so I can get these in order because I'm OCD and it's going to bug the hell out of me. Okay, so after a couple minutes of trying to get those perfectly level, that's, that's where we landed on that one. If you're counting so far, we're at 37. Because number 38 is none other than the terrible, insanely difficult game, Silver Surfer. When I picked that one up, they also had this. Now, I just said I'm not into manuals, but the book and the map for Final Fantasy. So now, I can finally play it with minimal frustration. Story on this one. Haven't opened it yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. As a insanely huge coincidence, 
birthday present from God to myself. The angry video game nerd is coming to Detroit this Saturday. So on my 40th birthday weekend, the angry video game nerd is like coming to my town. So, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde had to immediately be ordered, because I only found out about it a couple days ago, which is also crazy. Immediately had to rush ship this to my house so I can have him sign it this Saturday. So, upcoming videos are going to contain pictures of Back in the Day Gamer with the angry video game nerd. I'm pretty excited about that. There's going to be a big old picture hanging in the office here of the angry video game nerd and I. So that's number 39. The 40th game in my collection, of this collection, is a game that I have been wanting to get for 30 years, no joke. Had this game back in the day on our IBM computer, and it was the one thing I wanted my wife to get me for Christ Christmas, for my birthday. She got me other things, but she got me this, and I opened only this this morning so I could show it in the video. Drum roll, please. Brrr. The 40th game on Back in the Day Gamers. 40th birthday, 40 Nintendo game quest extravaganza is none other than Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Hills Far. Now this game is probably shit, but it's a $100 game. I've wanted it ever since I had it on my IBM computer back in the day, and I found out that it was on the Nintendo. We're gonna see which version was better. I'm guessing neither are that great. But I used to love this game. I'm super psyched to play it. I've never seen it in the wild, ever. I would've bought it no matter what. I shop for it all the time. It's always a hundred bucks. If I bid, and it's never anything less, but I got it. And the wife, being the fantastic, awesome wife she is, Also, forked out the cash for the manual. 30 bucks for this. So now I have to spend 150 bucks on the box so I can have it CIB. But there you go. That's the 40 games for the 40th birthday Nintendo Quest. That brings me to a total of 378 games, which is right around halfway there. It's kind of a coincidence because three is my lucky number and 78 is the year I was born. So it looks like completing a Nintendo Entertainment System collection is in the cards for me. So there we go. I'm going to leave it at that because I need to freshen up my martini. The uh, ice is melting. I like mine on the rocks. And also, I've got to start playing Hillsfar and make a whole bunch of other videos. So, uh... Thank you very much for joining me on my 40th birthday. This is my birthday party because I'm not going to leave the house. All I'm going to do is sit here and play video games. I am, however, going to put pajamas on to complete the birthday festivities. So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, and for the next 40 years, keep it retro!